Hi, I just wanna thank you so much for buying my book. Like really, it is a huge honor and a privilege that you are here because I, I believe in you and I believe in humanity. And I really, there's a part of this book right there, this one that I wanna read to you because I feel like I had this night where it was like the thesis of my entire life came out in about three pages. So I'm gonna read to you a little tiddly bit from this here book. <laughs> it is on page 216 and it's called History in a Nutshell. Slavery has always existed and re history is remarkably violent. I've spent the last 10 years asking thousands of people, do we have more violence in the world or are we more aware of the violence? The latter is my conclusion. The internet changed the world and there is nothing in history that can forecast exactly what will happen next, but it can paint some pretty big clues. Around 12,000 years ago, the last ice age was receding. The survivors were amazingly resilient tough, and tough and survival of the fittest was and still is very real. Our bodies and brains are designed and created for survival. When pushed to the very limits, mankind is capable of the most amazing feats. Slavery is written into almost every culture in history, but not as racism. Slavery was classism. Nearly every race that had a system of slavery, I'm talking ancient systems, started with enslaving their own people who were the lowest class or criminals. Sometime around 3000 BCE, so 5,000 years ago, trade routes started to form, but only for luxury items such as silk, spices, amber, and salt. As trade expanded over the next few thousand years, so did the desire for luxury, wealth, and power. By 300 to 600 CE, so 1700 years ago-ish, the trading zones and land and sea routes were established from West Africa and Southern Europe all the way to Asia. And the domesticated camel was new to the scene. This was a massive step for migration and trade. Think about that. The camel, that was the innovation of that time. Africa was rich in gold, copper, and ivory and was growing in wealth as Europe plunged into the dark ages for nearly a thousand years. By 700 CE, so 1300 years ago, the Trans-Saharan trade was in full swing and the demand for slaves grew throughout the Middle East and was growing fast. So slaves were going from Africa to the Middle East across the Sahara. And the demand for slaves was growing crazy fast. As shipping was expanding, plantations needed human power to keep up with demand. So human labor was what was needed. In the 1400s, there was a radical shift of power as new inventions and ideas came to life. This was an era of massive growth for, for, uh, for Europe. I just have to pause. This is so exciting to me because when you see the cycles, it is absolutely phenomenal. The 1400s, 600 years ago, was absolutely this massive shift in all of society. There were so many things that happened during this 100 year time period. So this was an area of massive growth, taking ideas, systems, and in inventions from around the world, Europe created systems and exploded with power, like the underdog hungry for its next victory. They, they had been in the dark ages for so long. And so they were just fighting. The printing press, the muzzle loaded rifle and whiskey were all invented during this era. Leonardo DiCaprio dreamed of flight. Trade between wealthy Europeans and West Africa grew rapidly as trade zones were established. The hunger for goods and slaves was at an all time high, but land was the greatest desire. By the late 1400s, Europeans were expanding their territories to the Americas. Okay, so hold on. What's happening in this, whoop, don't flip it. What's happening in this time is that 
Europe came out of the dark ages and they're like, we're growing, we're growing massively. And as they were growing, they needed people to build. So they were, it was a part of the global trade already. Slaves were as classism. They were the lowest classes of people. Everybody traded everybody. It was fascinating. But Europe was the underdog. They were mad, they were angry, and they wanted power and land. So they went to the Americas. When they, jumping back in, when they say marketers ruin everything, they aren't joking. The printing press was as revolutionary as the internet, the printing press. Reading and education was only available for the elite. The lower classes were not allowed access to education, furthering classism and slavery. The printing press created marketing, capturing the minds of the readers, creating an insatiable desire for wealth and power. Slavery was normal, customary, and encouraged. It was the way of the future. The marketing of humans is like the marketing of everything else. What problem does your product solve? Humans grow crops, they make tools, they cook, they clean, they even nurse and raise your children. Everything you don't want to do, buy a N word and your problems are solved. This was the shift of slavery from being classism to racism. It was marketing. It was the printing press. This is what happened. Europe was pissed because of the dark ages and they were all fighting and killing everybody. Slavery was already happening, but it was kind of kept in check, still very wrong but kept in check. When Europe finally came out of the dark ages, all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. They were hungry. They wanted everything. So they just devoured all the people. Any systems that existed, although not right, in regards to slavery, were quickly devoured as Europe was going, hey, we're going to the Americas. And they just, the de desire for people, the desire for growth and independence and everything else was so captivating that it cost millions and millions of lives. By the 1500s, the trade routes to the Americas were in high demand. America was marketed as a new and undiscovered land, but land was needed to build. Over the next 300 years, the demand for slaves led to approximately 50%, 50% of the population of Africa to be forced into slavery and servitude. But it wasn't just Africans. It was massive populations of Caribbean and South Americans who were also enslaved and sent north. The, the Europeans were just taking everybody, anybody. They were just grabbing them all. As the Industrial Revolution took form in the late 1700s, industry grew and manufacturing became systemized and relied almost entirely on slave labor. During this era, medicine and mental health became topics of scientific study and experimentation. For thousands of years, education, mindset, faith, economics were all taught by community leaders, elders, and teachers. It was called philosophy. The telling of stories was the primary method of sharing wisdom and knowledge. Think about it. It's the music, it's the stories, it's the campfires, it's the, the places where communities get together. You learn from your elders, you grow. You, that's how it was done. That's how those things used to be handled for millennia. For millennia, that's how we resolved our interpersonal issues. The telling of stories was a primary method of sharing wisdom and knowledge. The printing press allowed knowledge to be shared without relationship or community, causing many wild interpretations of already outlandish ideas. The societal patterns of systemic trauma, war and displacement kept entire nations in fight flight and freeze responses. Raw survival is the most basic human function. PTSD is not new. Neither are any of the other labels and definitions applied to the mental health industry. If humans currently have PTSD from home invasions, childhood abuse, war, and trauma, then humans have the same feelings of being violated before the terms were ever invented. The terms are new, the trauma isn't new. Think about the trauma of war, the dark ages, 
Like that, that's craziness. As the years continued, manufacturing and services were industrialized and institutionalized. This shift meant that more products could be manufactured faster and shipped further. So think about what that does to slavery. You can have uh, just having machines means that you can now print things. You can now the cotton gin or the cotton mill, cotton mill, cotton gin, lots of inventions, lots of things went down. They invented lots of cool stuff that made it easier. Secondly, the holistic approach to humanity was completely dissolved by the separation of physical, emotional, spiritual, and financial health. So when we compartmentalized it, the systems of sharing knowledge and wisdom were completely institutionalized for the Western world. Remember, the riches are in the niches, but the restoration is in the mushiness of life. Remember, marketers ruin everything. We, I'm a marketer, we took things and we niched down, but that meant we compartmentalized it. We separated everything. And so we don't understand how to bring the mental health, the physical health, the our beliefs, our finances, our relationships. We don't know how to bring those things together. And so we're left like awkward 12 year olds who are like, I don't know how to do this thing. And it, it's not that hard. We've been humaning for a long, long time. Whew, I rant, sorry, coming back. By the 1800s, institutions were the newest and best way to deal with mental health problems for the elite, as the source of the problem was thought to be a moral issue. Mental health was connected to morality. Slavery was in full production throughout the United States. The Civil War didn't free the slaves. Neither did the 13th Amendment because there is a very important loophole. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery and involuntary servitude except as punishment for a crime. Did you catch that? It's still classism. But what marketing just layered it with racism. But who makes and enforces the laws? Think about that. I've got goosebumps. Like it, it it's real. This is real. We have a system problem. It's the entire system. If the plantation and slave owners wanted to keep their land manufacturing and lifestyles, they had to exploit that loophole. Also, freedom without resources is not freedom. Freedom without rights is not freedom. Freedom without opportunity is not freedom. I feel those stories deeply because there are so many injustices that I experienced in my life. I say that because there's so many, so many core problems that we must address. The American Civil War was only 160 years ago and segregation lasted until 1964. That was only 56 years ago. We are not past racism. Addressing systemic racism has hardly even started yet. Slavery still exists and it doesn't look any different. Look at the prison system. Once a criminal, the record is for life. Look at the trafficking survivor. Once a criminal, a criminal for life. The system is designed to feed itself and not to allow certain demographics to overcome. Now, there are always inner individuals who create change and make a new life and move forward with abundance. But we're not the norm. We need to be. As philosophy was separated into different niches and specialized areas of expertise, the whole person became neglected. While the most extreme cases of mental health disorders were institutionalized in neglected hospitals and asylums well into the 1960s, counseling was first introduced in the early 1900s. In its infancy, it was much like a one-on-one -on -one version of the ancient teachings of philosophy. Counselors addressed mental health, relationships, child welfare, education, 
legal advocacy, and financial literacy, acting more like a holistic advocate. As the Great Depression settled, there was a strong focus on vocational training and personal finances. Credit had not been invented yet, and people were desperate for help. As World War II transpired, the government became more and more involved and health insurance was introduced. Systems were created at lightning speed to keep up with the changes in family structure, industrial manufacturing, and the looming mental health crisis. How long ago was World War II? Not that long. What I don't think was expected is the rapid changes in mindset over just a few generations. What was once a luxury, like indoor plumbing, it was quickly an absolute necessity. It is not that we have become weak. We simply lost touch with how far we have evolved in just the last 100 years. The current standard within clinical mental health care is constantly changing. Every decade, a new, method, a new method is introduced and it works for some and not others. Then a new method is developed. In reality, just 60 years ago, lobotomies and literal back-breaking electroshock therapy was accepted. 60 years ago. I've never met a clinician who wanted to hurt people, never. It's the system. It's the system that failed. Historically, the teachers of wisdom had age and experience on their side. Today, the education system pumps out individuals with a wealth of book knowledge, but that's only relevant to this decade standard of care and doesn't require the individual to receive the care they need before serving others. So many people get into the mental health, the social work, these helping industries because they want to help people, but they need help first. Like that's the most beautiful cycle in the world. Like get better so you can help other people get better. But that's not how the system is designed. It's broken. The system, not you. <sighs> okay. Secondly, PTSD wasn't even added to the DSM until 1980, and it was only addressed because of war trauma. But war trauma has existed for millennia. What changed was our relationships, communities, entitlements, and the belief that government will save its people. There are two other reasons that I chose not to take a mental health path with my education. It's the nature of the relationship and mandatory reporting. Working with trafficking survivors is a nightmare as a mandatory reporter. Everything is a crime. Think about it. The sex industry is a crime. How can you help someone when they're criminalized? How are you supposed to help anyone? See, I wrote this. If the nature of their abuse will cause them to be arrested. A criminal record only furthers the cycles. Secondly, clinicians are taught to keep personal and professional lives separate, breaking down the very nature of a relationship, essentially institutionalizing philosophy and creating separate areas of specialized knowledge is great for science, but it was detrimental for self, family, and community. We institutionalized philosophy, the wholeness of self the holistic being of who we are. So where do we go from here? Take responsibility for your life. No one is going to save you. You are responsible for your words and actions and your thoughts too. The bad things that happen to you, they're not your fault. The sirens are ironic. They're not your fault. But what you do with it really is your responsibility. I'm not, I couldn't have changed my life, but I'm responsible for changing what happens next. You are responsible for the quality of your life. You are responsible for your happiness and mental health. You are responsible for your passion, mission, and impact. You are responsible for your family, even when you don't like them. And you are responsible for your community. Take a look at the internet. 
Take a look at how the internet has changed the world and realize that it's only 30 years old. If the internet were a person, it would still be trying to discover their purpose in life and getting shit faced on the weekend. There is no studies on the long-term effects of the internet. The internet, the long-term hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> Most studies are shit too. The questions are based on the opinions and values of the individuals writing the study and their worldview. Everything's jaded by the person who wrote it, just as this book is. Marketing and branding has turned a world of opinions into facts. You must learn to tell the difference. Ask better questions, trust your intuition, and listen deeper. We have, we meaning my husband of 16 years and our five children, have lived differently for the last ever 16 years, 20 years, I made a decision that forever changed my life. And what happened was, was I literally crawled under my desk and I knew I was either going to start committing acts of violence or I was gonna change. And that day at 21 years old, I made a decision to change my life. A few years later, I met my husband and everything just continued to change and get better. We've been dedicated to healing and hope and freedom. I chose a North Star under my desk that day. And it was that I wanna be able to look at myself in the mirror and love who I am. I wanted to be able to say, Jess, I love you, I care for you. And I wanted to be able to go to bed at night without the night terrors. And I accomplished those things within just a few years, but then I realized that there's so much more to life and there is relationships are complicated, parenting is complicated. We ended up having five more kids. For the last 10 years, we have homeschooled, but really we have life schooled. And Reed started calling it life school a number of years ago. And we do life different. And so really, I want to introduce you to him because he's my partner in everything that I do. Hi, welcome back. We always have to adjust the camera because look at how tall my awesome husband <laughs> is. This is Reed. Say yes. hi, Reed. Hi, I'm Reed. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, together we are trauma breakthrough. And relationship coaches. And family coaches. Really, we work with the entire yeah. family because that's what's important to break the cycles, right? Yeah, we've been doing this since the beginning of our marriage, 16 years. Right, like from the very first week, we had a house full of people that we were mentoring. And so it's really just a core of who we are. Yeah. But we also life school, which is really fun because learning is something that you do forever when you enjoy it. Like when it's an adventure and you know, like there's so many exciting things. Like think about studying giraffes in, on YouTube at 3 a.m. Like we do some of the craziest things because we're learning. Yeah. What if all of life was that way? What if you could learn how to take care of yourself and take responsibility for your mental health, your physical health? Right for all that you are, like, and be truly empowered. How awesome is that? What if we actually used our sense of wonder mm. and creativity together to discover what's on the other side of anything that we study? What if we just mm. dove in all the way? Yeah, and it became fun because learning is something that we never stop doing. So with our kids, we've been homeschooling for 10 years, but really we don't homeschool as much as we life, life school which is where we just learn anything and everything. Well, over the years, we have discovered, and really with the book and everything else, there are five major pillars in life. It's mental health, physical health, relationships, your beliefs, your roots, faith, and then your financial health. You have these five life pillars. And so what we did was we are launching Life School which is a year long program where we teach you everything we know in those five pillars because yes. it's fun to us. This is fun. This is learning. Have you ever sat in a classroom with your favorite teacher and you're just like, man, we can just like learn anything and do everything and they encourage you. 
that's what we are. That's what we want to be for you. It be feels limitless. Yes. It feels limitless. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and there's so many things that are complicated within that because relationships, like how do you stay married? How do you work through your communication? How about yeah. mental health? How do you heal? How do you process? How do you handle your heart? How do you speak to your kids mm. in respect? And instead kindness. of just demanding, instead of just demanding, right? right? How do we how do we get on their level? How do we see them? How do they see us? Mm -hmm. How do we have that clear communication that leads to joy, that leads to happiness of life instead of being stuck in this vicious cycle that we get in? Right. Yeah, I don't have to sell you on all the bad stuff, on all the trauma, on all the hurt, on all the bad behaviors, because we have done them. You know, like we we were both train wrecks of our own type. We and experimented. We didn't know what to do. Right. We yeah. didn't know what to do. Well, we tried all different things with parenting and with our marriage and with uh, family and boundaries. And then like you know, finances are a whole nother ball game. And then religious beliefs and all of those root things that you don't know because you don't know. You've never been told. You were born into cycles. And there is life is mushy is really the moral of the story is that life is mushy. So we have a couple principles that we live by and that is kindness and respect. Yeah. So life school is built on a platform of kindness and, your, kindness and respect, being kind to yourself and being kind to others. Yes. So many times we walk through life completely black and blue from beating ourselves up and it, it doesn't help. No. It just adds to the toxicity it's, all the way around your life. It's impossible to just serve and connect mm -hmm. with people in your community and really lead your family. When your when heart you're, hurts. When your heart hurts. It's difficult, which is why we were forced to deal with our stuff because our ugly was so ugly that we didn't have any other choices really. Yeah. And that, that worked to our benefit and to your benefit. So Life School is a one year program. It starts August 15th which is just in time for school. Um, and it covers absolutely everything. What we will be doing um, is we will be doing a one hour teaching every single week. We will be doing via video because this is what we do. Yeah. We will also be doing a Q&A every single week where you can drop comments, questions into the community and we will answer your questions on the video. No matter how crazy or how intense, how yeah. different your questions are, we answer all of them. Because deep Beautiful, questions yeah. are what we do. That's why my book is on trafficking and sex and abuse and everything else. Like you have to go deep. That's where real relationships are. That's where real freedom is. Um, but then I totally lost it. What was the next Community. thing? No, no, there was something else in there. Okay. Oh, the interviews. Yes. <laughs> the interviews. Yes, interviews. Yeah, so I love to interview people because I love people and their stories. And so we will be bringing in experts all the way throughout the year just so it'll be fun. I imagine that it's going to be approximately three hours a week of committed time um, if you like did everything all the way through. And so that it's a small price, three hours to totally change your life. Absolutely. You're worth it. Yeah. You are so worth it. And so just so you know what you're getting into, this is a build it with you because I don't like the courses where they're just made and then left alone on autopilot. So we are actually building this all the way through with you. It's a year long program. I love being in the trenches. That's why we do one on one work. That's why we do masterminds. But this is our way to reach the masses in a way because there is so much pain happening in the world with all the changes. So life school is what will equip you to be able to handle all of the crazy that's happening in the world. I feel like it's taking everything that we've done with our clients in real mm -hmm. life, all the things that we've really experienced and, yeah. and all of the notes that we've taken, all of, all of the study that Jess has put into complex trauma and into human patterns and really understanding history. This is a culmination of everything with the, with mind you, being able to life school our kids for over 11 years now. Like we, it is 11 we, years we now, experience the system. <laughs> we experience the school, the school system in private school and public school. And so we know what it's like. We know, we know where you are, where it's like COVID happens and all of these things take place where we don't have control of it. Mm -hmm. But in reality, life is school, right? Life and is it's school. Fun. And it's so fun. Right. Yeah. So 
But the thing is, is that it really is hard when you're just on your own. That's why we haven't done courses because you're just kind of on your own and I don't want you to be on your own because independence is another one of the biggest lies that we have been told to believe. We're not independent. If we were independent, we would all be okay with living in caves, except our species doesn't even continue if we were actually independent. We are interdependent. But interdependent is really closely resembling codependency. And so the difference is your boundaries. And that is really important and as we well. Go, we go deep. We go, we deep, go deep with it. And we hit but it head on. And we make it easy. What is needed is community. Because when you start to come into your own and you start to become who you are and you find your power, it, it you you want other people like you around you. And you know what? Quite frankly, over the decades, we have had more requests for dating apps. Dating, they're like, where do we find a couple like you? Where do I find a partner like you? I'm like, someday we'll do dating. This <laughs> it may be your chance. The closest thing we'll, we'll ever maybe, get to maybe dating. Maybe you should be able to find your best friend if not your partner. Right. In the community. It, so bringing everyone together and creating something that is affordable for people because that was the problem. A lot of people can't afford our one-on-one -on -one work. They can't afford our mastermind. So we wanted something that was affordable for people yeah. and created the community and we were still in there doing the work. Like I still want to deliver it with you. I want to be a part of it yes. because I care about bringing you on the journey. I care about that. But I, I can't do the one-on-one -on -one for everyone. And so that's why the life school is important. But then the community is what makes it work because it's bringing people together. Find your best friend, find your person and work together. Yes. And together, high tide rises all boats. And the community is not the community on Facebook. We actually have a community that is set up with the Life School. So it is on a private platform that is special for our super powered humans, <laughs> which is what happens when you go to Life School. You simply become unabusable. I don't know how else to say that. Unabusable. We literally help unusable. people become, yes. Unstoppable yeah. and unforgettable. Oh. We're all about leaving a legacy. <laughs> We're all about leaving a legacy. Man, I love this guy. Do you see why? Oh my goodness. Just so, doesn't stop. We have life school with Jess and Reed. That is us. And oh, the value on that, the one year course, $6,000. We're not going to charge you that, but that's what it is. That's, and it's that's real beyond, value. That's not just marketing. Hype. Right. Yeah. Break it down for uh, right. us, Right, we could easily have just said $24,000, but you know what, I really hate the BS in marketing. Right. And so I'm like, what is the real value? What could I really justify charging people like for? Like, what? what is it? And I was like, this is easily, easily a $6,000 program. I could sell this over and over for that. You're not gonna pay that, but we can easily. Um, because it's also a one year program, like two to three hours a week for a year. That's a huge program. Six grand, that's easy. Also, I want to comment on that really yes. quick. If anything takes seven days or 30 days, it's not really worth no. our life. We're talking about our lives here. We're talking about our time. rebuilding our lives after COVID. We're talking about putting putting all of our eggs in one basket, seeing what we've got, eliminating what we don't need. Getting like, rid of the stressors, like raw results. Yes, raw results. Raw results, that's what we do. We are results based, we are solution based. If it doesn't work, don't do it. Quit wasting your time on other things that don't help you. Get it all, all the excess out of your life. You have to simplify so that you can be all of you. Yes. That's what it takes. So we have life school, then we have the community and the community is a continuity thing. So you pay monthly for it, it's $27 a month. And so you have the $6,000 life school, you have the community, which is $27 a month, but then this is one of my favorites. It is the I am my hero journal and workbook. Yeah. I have worked on this for years and years and years. I love journaling, but I have not ever found the ones that have the elements that I need in order to help me stay focused on my feelings so that I'm manifesting and controlling them properly, but then also self-aware of where the problems are within my being, where the issues are, how am I going to address them? So we literally created an I am my hero journal because you are your hero. It's not us, I'm my hero. 
And then the really exciting part, the really exciting part oh. is, is what you can do with a journal because of what's next. Tell us what's next, Jess. <laughs> fun. <laughs> well, the journal and workbook is $27 on our website if you just buy it alone. So there's that too as part of this package. Then this is one of my favorite tools and this tool works for children and humans. As early as like two, one and four. a half years old. No, four. Four. Yeah. I beg to differ. Yeah. Could you do it younger? You yes, know what? You I bet can. you could. I've tried. I was thinking I can justify four, but year and a half. This is our feelings picker and feelings journals. Now, as part of this package, they come in a bundle of three journals and you'll get the magnetics feeling picker chart that goes on your refrigerator. Those are always my favorite thing because of how many papers you can stick underneath of them. So you're always gonna see your feelings chart and you'll have papers shoved in <laughs> until we help you clear them out. <laughs> you are too much. Um, Breathe. Okay, Breathe. I get talking too fast and start choking on myself. <laughs> um, you'll get used to that. <laughs> um, but this feeling picker is so powerful because not only does it help children, really young children, and me and people much older, um, how to identify our feelings, it also gives us control over our feelings. And it's real simple, it's super fun, but it is an amazing, powerful tool, especially if you have children in the house, especially if you're struggling to identify because feelings are layered. And so it really helps to be able to identify them and have them kind of front of mind. So, yeah. you know what? On average, most people know four to five feelings and yet we experience 40 to 50 feelings every single day. That's we aren't it. naming them. That's the problem. We need to be aware of what's going on because we actually have the power to change them. So the journal gives you the ability to easily name them, put them in a category that makes you feel happy every single day. And pick them. That's why they're called a feeling picker. Yes. So what we have is the Life School, the Super Powered Humans Community, and the I Am My Hero Journal and Workbook, and the Feelings Picker, which is the magnetic thing that goes on your refrigerator, and three journals. So for you and the people in your house. That is an amazing value. The total value on that is, I didn't even write it down. It's like 6,300 some odd dollars. Yeah. It's a lot of money. And you know what? I am not scared to charge that, right. but I'm not going to yeah. because... If, if all this did, if all this did was restore the relationship with your partner or with your kid or with somebody at work or with your best friend, would it be worth what it? What if you could restore a relationship? Would that be worth it to you? Yeah. Like we're talking about, we're talking about restoration. We're talking about freedom. You. We're talking about your freedom and we're talking right. about your freedom in community. Right. So here's the deal. Because we're doing this launch and I was like, how do you create urgency? How do you create that scarcity? And at the same time, like it, I want to give people a great deal. And I really want, but I also know that people don't do things unless they invest. I've given away lots of things for free or where I didn't charge enough. And then the other people don't have the same value out of it. And it just doesn't work. This is basic human nature. Yeah, and this is school. This is your education. Yes. This is your life. You are worth investing in yourself. And so I was like, how do I put all this together? What do I do? And I was like, you know what? I could do this as a, like a lifetime package for like two grand. And I was like, you know what, that that works. I, I'm pretty comfortable with this one year program at $2,000 because once I launch, once it's happening, then we're going to go on a monthly payment plan. It's gonna be $247 a month and it's just monthly payments for 12 months and then you pay for the uh, community, $27 a month for month 13 and on. So it's like, okay, that's what we're doing after it's going. But before then, can I give them a lifetime package of some sort? What can I do? What can you do? So it was $2,000 <laughs> for a lifetime package. Yeah. And that's what we're charging. That's the yeah. price. Except here's one more thing. We decided to do a roll up. So starting today, right now, the entire thing is $500. Yeah. And every day, for the next 30 days, it is going to increase by $50 a day. So today it's 500, tomorrow it's 550, 
The next day it's 600, the day after that it's 650. The earlier you get in, the less you pay. How awesome is that for a crazy sketch? Crazy, like, that sounds honest. like urgency to me because urgency I'm not, and I'm scarcity. not gonna wanna wait. I'm right. not gonna wanna wait and pay monthly. Because mm. if my monthly is almost the same amount as starting out right now, right. for life, I think I'm going to want to start right now. Right. I'm just saying. For two months uh, of tuition, you can get the whole thing lifetime right now. But tomorrow, it's going to be five fifty, And so it was just really kind of a fun way because we're marketing the book differently. I was like, let's just market our life school differently. And... Marketing right. doesn't scare me, I'm an entrepreneur. This is what I do, but what I don't like about marketing is the dishonesty in it. And so I just tell you, and I think that makes it I better. I like the fun in it. <laughs> like, let's have fun, let's have fun like right now, let's have fun when we get there. Like, right, let's so have fun buy it today journey. while it's 500 bucks. Right. And then tomorrow it'll be 550 and you can tell your friends. And, and it's oh, exciting because your heart's right. pumping and you're like, it's going up. <laughs> and if you're really excited and you're totally on board, we do have a partnership program, so let us know. But if you want to partner with us and tell your friends, it it's awesome. But like it's the thing to do because it you're is the worth thing it. To do. And we believe in you, yes. and you have to be yes. your own hero. There is no other way. No one's gonna save you. I, man, I think after reading your book, after mm -hmm. reading your book, I have a burden on my heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, I helped with some of the editing, but there's, I mean, it's pretty raw. And after all of that, I'm like, what can I do? Is humanity even worth saving? Mm -hmm. Like, I know you give a lot of hope in there, but is humanity even worth it? So if, if, if this program, all it did, this lifetime program, if all it did was restore your hope in humanity and help you be able to see patterns so you can reach out to people in ways that that really matter, that really leave a difference in your life and in their life, wouldn't it be worth it? Yeah. If it did half that, it would be worth it. Wait, that's a $2,000 <laughs> investment. Yeah. Like a two grand is nothing. How much you pay in counseling, in therapy, in all these other things. Like add this to it. Don't get rid of that stuff. Like just add this to it. And if it works and it will, and your life has changed, you're gonna save a ton of money. And, but I understand it's risky and I understand it's scary. That's why we always offer 100% money back guarantee. If you're not happy, we're not happy. I don't want the bad juju. Like, yeah. it, it, I, that karma's real and I have a lot of stored good karma and I love that <laughs> stuff. And, and so I'm not gonna go around making people mad. I want you to win. I want you to have a new life. I want you to find freedom because you know what? I love sleeping at night. I love being confident in who I am and not worrying about what people think. And I think you can do it too. I know because we have lots and lots of people who are doing it. We have so many testimonials. Go and read the testimonials. You would be surprised. People do one session with us and they're like, everything's changed. All the things have changed. They spend two months with us and they're like, the whole family. And we're taking that value. Entirely different. We're taking the value. We're taking our principles and we're applying them to this group. Like we're giving a... We're giving you all of those principles. We're giving us, giving you all of our values. Everything. Like we're really, all of we're, the we're putting ourselves out there because I just have experienced, even as an at-home dad, the most incredible um, adversity. Now this was 12 years ago, 13 years ago, but starting out, but it's really difficult stepping into a world, just having a different role in your family. Even if you, even if you're a great man of leadership and you have a team and you're an at-home dad, people start to see you differently and it doesn't make any sense. Like that should be a, a place of power. Mm -hmm. That should be a place of courage and power. Yeah. And I just believe that together, no matter what friendships you form in this community, you're gonna have them for life. Yeah. You're gonna be able to take you, you're gonna be able to take yourself to a, a new level that you've never experienced before. We believe in you. Yeah. We know it's possible. And our clients know it's possible, but society hasn't told us it's possible, but you know what, you're worth it. You can be your own hero. You can change your life. You just need a guide. That's why we have life school. That's yeah. why we're the super powered humans that we are. And you know what, you can be it too. Yes, you can. So join us, yeah. it's worth it. Yeah. And no more payments, lifetime access, one and done. Woo!
do it now before we launch yes. and you're stuck doing monthly payments. We'll talk to you on the other side. Bye.